bacterial meningitis is a disease that used to be a disease of children, mostly infants, about uh, 10, 11 months old, and they used to get Haemophilus influenza meningitis or meningococcal or pneumococcal meningitis. But in the recent 25 years, it has changed, and now it's more become a disease of adults because of the vaccination in children. And we see in the last years in the Netherlands that now it used to be 90% children and 10% adults, and currently it's 60% adults. And most of the cases are caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae. Currently that's about 72%, with 15% caused by the meningococcus and 5% by listeria. And bacterial meningitis in adults is a severe disease. Still one in three adults uh, will have an unfavorable outcome and 20% dies. Uh, the prognosis of bacterial meningitis has been improved in the past 20 years and we think that's due to the introduction of adjunctive dexamethasone treatment. In bacterial meningitis the damage of the brain is caused in part by the bacterium itself but also because of the inflammation of the, the host itself. Because there's a huge inflammatory response in the brain, the brain swells up and because the brain is confined to the skull, um, well it doesn't have any room and it uh, can cause massive damage to the brain. So when we try to reduce the inflammatory response by giving corticosteroids, we see that the prognosis has improved in the past 10 years. There have been uh, several trials, the biggest being performed in the Netherlands, where we show that uh, mortality decreased from 30 to 15 percent. And currently we've looked at the, uh, the data after the introduction, after the performance of this trial, after implementation, currently 90% of all the bacterial meningitis patients, adults, get adjunctive dexamethasone therapy and the prognosis has improved overall with the similar proportion as we found in the trial. And interestingly, it's not only for pneumococcal meningitis, but also for all other types of meningitis, we see that mortality has decreased compared to a prior episode, uh, the prior period before dexamethasone was given. So, uh, when a patient survives bacterial meningitis, there are several problems that may occur. Of all survivors, 50% have some kind of neurological sequelae, and that can be neuropsychological problems, but also hearing loss. And it's important to recognize these, because hearing loss may be treated in the early phase after bacterial meningitis. Because you can, um, an ENT physician can put a cochlear implant into the ear of a patient if he has hearing loss. So when this occurs, uh, well, everyone has to think fast that this has to, uh, the analysis has to be done within the period of the hospital admission. And for neuropsychological evaluation, that's also important because people have a lot of problems getting back to work and function in their daily life. 